everybody welcome back to my channel I am out here at the um, park getting ready to do some walking I am still on my journey I apologize about uh, it's not I'm on a um, park bench so it's not really a great place to put the phone so yep so anytime that I get off no matter what I'm wearing I go and I walk in it. So, this is what I'll be walking in. Um, I just, I stay hydrated. I like to walk in the sun. So I make sure I'm hydrated, full of water. Of course, so nobody passing out because I'm out here by myself. So, um, yeah, I walk. Uh, it's a little parking lot. So I walk all the way around and i have a back injury so i have to put on my um, back brace so that i can be pain-free safe walking sorry you can't see me so <laughs> so i can be safe walking i have to wear a back brace um so i'm going to do that i'm gonna put it on usually i do about usually i do about um seven laps or so today i'm pushing for ten We'll see how that goes. So, um, thank you for turning into my channel. I thank you for all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. So, here we go. I'm gonna put my back brace on. Let me see if this will hold like that. It's, it's a real fancy one. Got it from the medical supply store it supports my back so what I do I just put it around my waist shit can't see it hmm I'm about to go get one of those little dirty shoes should have brought something out the car um, I'm do this. Let's see if I can put a corner in this thingy here. Oh well, you see a little bit right here. So what I do, just put it around my waist in the back. I lost seven inches in my waist, so it used to be really tight. So now I have to really um, put it on. So it's not a waist trainer or anything like that. It's a back brace. I'm sorry. And I put it on. I really have to find something to set this phone up. Let me see. So y'all can really see. I just, somebody left some shoes. I'll just put that here. Yeah, that's great. See, see. So, I am ready for these 10 laps. See how it curves into my back? It curves into my back. So, um, I'm going to do some warm-ups. What I do is kind of lean, put my back against this part of the table. I'll sit down and just lean, lay, lean back to stretch. So I have bulging discs. In my back so I just lean back on on this metal curve and it pushes sometimes it helps sometimes it doesn't but I'm always constantly in pain so I will check back in after about 
my fifth lap. Um, maybe I'll just have you guys walk with me and I'll talk at least for the first one. So, I appreciate you guys following me. I am so appreciative. And what I normally do is just I walk. Hold on. Look at my shadow. It ain't playing with y'all today. It really isn't. It's not playing. Look at that. Look at that waist. But anyways, I walk along the curb. The most I've ever done was seven laps. I think I said that. And I power walk. So I'm swinging my arms. And I'm walking. I walk all the way down there. And I go across. Walk all the way up. I don't sit down for two laps. Because I try to push myself. And then every two laps, I hydrate. Drink me some water. And then I go at it again. So this time, like I say, pushing myself 10 laps. Power walking. So I'm going to have to put this phone down so I can move my other arm and I'll check back in after maybe the sixth lap I'll check back in love you guys thank you so much for following me I really appreciate it I have other videos that I want to put up I just haven't had time to edit them or if I decide to edit because I like for things to be raw and real, not taking stuff out. So, love you, and I'll check back with you after the sixth lap. Bye. Hey, ladies. Okay, so this also what I want to show you. After every two laps, I rest my back. So, but I try to keep myself in cardio mode. So what I do is flutter kicks how i do it because i have such meaty thighs is i keep my legs as close as i can and then i turn my feet inward and i keep kicking back and forth i'm and i'm holding my butt muscle glutes in i'm tightening those up and i'm tightening my quads and i'm fluttering back and forth some days i do it like 250 flutters um which equates to 500 total because of both legs so I keep myself going as I'm resting my back for about two minutes and then when I'm walking every five every like every maybe every so many laps I'll click kick my legs for five minutes each time and that also helps keep your heart rate up keeps you burning that fat keeps some calories burning just want to let you know that too all this jiggling all this meat jiggling <laughs> check back in with y'all at the six lap hey everybody okay so this is my six lap as you can see i am soaking um one thing i was thinking about was letting you, you plus women know and then when you're walking there's a certain way you're walking to burn calories you're not just walking um you ever seen um are we there yet on part two remember i can't think of the white guy's name how he put on his walking gear to make it to nia long's um, birth home birth and i noticed like a lot of guys white guys walk like that with a stiff back stiff butt and they kind of have this switch in their hips well as you can see i'm doing my flutters remember in between walking that's what keeps your heart rate up that's what keeps you your heart rate where it needs to, to burn calories but anyways that's how everybody laugh at how i forget that one comedian who was talking about how white people walk well that's how you want to walk when you're walking you need to make sure you're having a full body workout. So 
you move your hips like you're walking by a fine dude. You swing in your hips and you should be able to feel your burn all the way to your feet. Like my feet is on fire and it's not because of the heart road. It's because of the method of walking. And also too, what helps you burn calories is I make sure I lotion. I lotion every day, but when I'm getting ready to walk, it's an extra amount of ocean, I mean, lotion and oils that I put on. And that also increases your metabolism and causes your body to be this inferno where you're burning fat. A lot of people be like, oh, it's too hot to walk. Well, that is God's gift to you when you're wanting to burn calories. That's why it's important when you're walking. I love to walk in the sun because first of all, I'm getting my vitamin D and also it's God's gift to me to help me burn. So the environment is important and also how you walk is important. Like this is my sixth lap. I only got four more to go. So what, I, what I'll do is show you how I walk and you want to make sure you're swinging your arms. You know, some, how some people say like fat people got that fat person swinging their arms when they walk in. That's what you want to do because that's your, uh, your work. And then you want to keep your abs tight because you, you're working out your abs at the same time. And then when you swing in your arms, you're working at your upper body. So you're giving yourself a full body workout. If it's not burning, you're not doing nothing. That means you need to increase your speed. No matter how much it burns, keep. But for me, with my back, my back is on fire. And so I, that's why I have to give myself this much break. But I still do my flutters as I sit down. Um, so you want to make sure you're doing that. I'll do a quick little video um, how I move my feet because it's burning my calves. Everybody, when they lose weight, you don't want to be losing weight and then have those same big calves. You want to have sexy calves. So you want to make sure that the way you walk is going to also burn and strengthen the muscles in your calves. You can also stand to do some calf lift, lifts. I'll show that as well. So yeah, you want to do that. So thought about that. <laughs> thought I should let you know. Well, I'm going to go get me some more water and get back out there for these last four laps and I'll be back. You guys, so I just finished my 10th lap and I feel pretty good. So I'm going to get some water, of course. And then also what I like to do is Sometimes I'll put my um, heat on in my car. It's like a sauna effect. Effect. I put it on high heat, and of course I drink a lot of water to keep myself hydrated. But now I'm gonna show you how to walk when you plus size. It wasn't a hell of a good, but you'll get the gist of it. Tell Suzanne to stay calm and to. Hey guys, okay, so I'm in the car, and as you can see, high heat, and it's already 96 degrees outside, but this is what I do extra to burn calories and whatnot. Excuse my hair. So also, um, what I hydrate with is, of course, I love my smart water. 
because it has minerals in it and I like it because um, you know when you're working out you're burning calories you're burning your minerals and it's not like it's a lot in here but it's just I like it better than water so also what I detox with is I put lemon in my water ginger in my water turmeric in my water that's what I'm sipping on as I'm walking and you know those two minerals alone helps with um, inflammation um, so it helps it doesn't really take away the back pain but it, it makes it so I can walk and also um, I don't sweeten it with anything no honey no nothing it's just those three I, well actually I got other herbs in it that alkalines your body you know keep you um, alkaline but that's just my concoction and if you want to try the way I walk um, what the proper way of walking to burn calorie to burn fat um, if you copy what I do of course it's at your own risk this is just what I do to help me out so it's at your own risk but I can tell you it do work so let me tell you this too <laughs> it's gonna sound weird but um, I noticed since I adopted um, the new way of walking um, I've also lost <laughs> I also lost weight um, I guess in my vaginal lips because they was like so plump and so even my vaginal lips got smaller I'm like I should have measured them bitches <laughs> so the way the walk is like I said it's working out your whole body and it's also working out your inner thighs and don't let people tell you that like I wish when I started working out before I knew about this way of walking and also high protein because when you power walk and you're twisting and everything like that swinging your hips swinging your arms you are also toning which will help fight against excess skin like the, the sides of my hips are smaller like I used to be a roll on the sides of my legs where I could literally put my finger in it but now it's it's not even there even you know how some of us plus ladies when you get really big you have that extra pussy you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm being vulgar but that's what it is it's an ex I call it my extra pussy I got two of them and it's where your thighs fold inside and then if you know right here right here is the but that's almost gone I'm serious so if you walk properly if you're if you don't understand or if you couldn't really see what I was doing but if you go to um, if you google the proper way of walking um, when exercising you'll show you it'll show you you keep your your glutes tight your muscles in your calves and the muscles in your thighs as tight as you can and you want to make sure what's contacting the floor first is your heel it's heel to toe do you pushing off your toes you're not pushing off your heels because what happens is what you're doing when you're not walking properly and you're power walking you are uh, damaging the cartilage in your knee so that's where some big people have knee pain that's why I don't like walking on treadmills because I'm not walking properly on there and it hurts it hurts my knees and not only that like um, curbs like my apartment um, they used to have this ramp but now they put a curb there and it's like it, it causes me to have knee pain sometimes so you got to be careful when you're power walking the proper way of walking I'm telling you it will tone everything because I was like how I knew it I was losing inches of my coochie I'm like wait a minute now the seat of the drawers is covering the whole thing almost because usually when my drawers eat it when my ass eat up my drawers it's almost like thongs by the time by the day over with so now it's not even doing that so I got so much room in my underwear I'm actually going to, have to go down the side so yeah <laughs> I'm sorry I got to be vulgar because you know that's just how I am got to keep it real so but after I promise you if you walk properly you'll burn 
two to three pounds a day like if i don't do one day i lost 4.5 pounds in one day and how i know the program the nutrition program that i'm on i have to weigh myself every single day and i have to let the new the, the i have to uh message the nutritionist uh what my weight is every day so if you're not able to get a sports nutritionist or anything like that and i'll talk more about that in a little while um in the next couple weeks to come but if you can't afford to see a nutritionist or whatnot the, the proper thing to do is weigh yourself every single day then you'll know what you did the day before how it affects your weight gain or your weight loss then you'll know how to make changes okay so i know i ate bread so this is what i need to do i need to change this or that or whatnot so at first i was like nah i'm gonna weigh myself monthly but then like when you do that if you're not consistent with weigh-ins and it's, it, it shouldn't be about the numbers but then with if you don't measure you have to measure yourself by your numbers to know what you're doing is right so and then keep a journal like today I was whatever then take it in you know then you know what to do so if you have any questions just please leave a comment and like share and hit the notification bell to know when I'm posting because I'm gonna be flooding my channel because I have a lot of things that I have been doing recording and that I have not posted so I really appreciate you guys enjoy your day and happy journey Mm-hmm. <laughs>